After 10 years of being a firefighter, from time to time I'll have somebody ask me what it's like to date a firefighter. So, you know, I'm gonna give you some tips on what to expect if you are about to date a firefighter. Number one, we're Neanderthals. So don't expect some super heartfelt conversation with us about why we think that the birds and the bees are the most amazing thing and how the sky reflects off it. We don't care. We know that fire is hot and water is good. That's pretty much it. Hey, you want a heated conversation about some really stupid thing that has nothing to do with anything? We're the ones, okay? Male or female, does not matter. All the same category. Just, that's, you know, fire, hot. There you go, in a box. Uh, number two, all the people that we're dealing with at work are the same like-minded men and women. So don't expect us to go to work and get some amazing advice uh, because of the fight that we had the night before. Because uh, for the most part, most advice that we're going to get at the fire station comes down to one simple phrase. Screw that, bro. Move on. So just, just you know, if you're, if you're hoping that doing work, it's going to get worked out, probably not going to happen. Number three, 95% of us eat like someone's trying to steal our plates. Uh, it's just an innate thing. You can try to fix it all you want. You can, you know, say all the stuff you want, but it is something, that same thing in your head that is like, let me enjoy my meal. Mmm, um, nice, I taste it, I swallow it. It's the same thing, but the opposite. It's been ingrained in our brain. Oh my God, it's got to go in my stomach. I'm going to get a call. Ah! So, if you're planning on bringing us to a nice five-course meal with you and your boss and it's black tie and everyone's proper and eating, just, just be ready to give us the, please, slow down for three seconds and breathe while you're eating, look, because it's going to happen. Or, be really good at distracting everyone around us for two minutes, because that's exactly how long it takes us to finish any sized plate. And finally... I promise you, deep down past all the calloused hearts and all the crap that we've buried and shoved down into a really deep, dark place, there's actually some good emotions. It's a good, wholehearted man or woman that just loves cuddles and hugs. I promise you, they can lie to you, but they do like it. So... Just expect the first 10 to 15 minutes of any fight that you're going to have, it doesn't matter how substantial it is, it's going to be yelling. It's going to be emotions and really weird phrases and crap. But after that, we just want a hug. A hug, a kiss, a little cuddle, other stuff that I can't say in this video. So I hope that helps you. Just remember, we're big Neanderthal lovers. And if you need any more tips, don't date a cop. You're welcome.